<clears throat> Hello and welcome. My name is Noreen. I'm a certified professional here to bring you your yoga class. All you will need is just your yoga mat or towel, as well as plenty of space to move around. Of course, I always recommend having some water nearby to make sure that you're comfortable throughout your practice. As we go through our practice, I'm going to be providing modifications so that uh, whatever speaks to you, uh, maybe you want to modify or maybe you want to take a progression, whatever it means today, let it, you know, let it be. <laughs> and as we go through this practice, just continue to breathe and smile and enjoy yourself and thank yourself for the time you've taken for yourself today. So as we begin, we're gonna start in a nice seated position. <clears throat> Easy seated pose. Alrighty, we're gonna begin with some uh, breathing and as you go ahead and find your comfortable seated position with your tall, uh, tall spine upright and extended, go ahead and keep your chin parallel to the floor, ears hover above the shoulders. Relax the palms on the lap, palms facing up to the sky as to receive energy versus facing down. So. With your eyes gently closed or gazing softly in front of you, go ahead and inhale through the nose and exhale from the mouth. Bringing awareness to the breath, mindfully inhale to the belly and mindfully exhale from the belly to the mouth. Sighing out the previous part of the week making room for the weekend ahead. Deep breaths. And go ahead and inhale and exhale from the nose, closing your mouth. And as you join me on this next breath, we're gonna inhale for force, beginning inhale from the belly. One, two, three, four, Pause and exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale tall. One, two, three, four. Hold for two. One, exhale for three, two. One, inhale again to four, slowly. One, two, three, four, and hold as you exhale. Four, three, two, one. And then find your rhythmic breathing that's natural for you. As we continue to do our breathing, and centering here. We're going to constrict the throat and as if you're telling somebody a secret and whispering to them, go ahead and inhale to the throat, breathe through the throat. And as you exhale from the nose out of the throat, hear the sound, feel the heat in the back of the throat. Pushing out the breath with the core as you inhale. Exhale. You find your ujjayi breath, and this is the Darth Vader version with the mouth closed. And as you inhale again, exhale from an open mouth. For one more round, inhale. Ocean's breath. And then exhale when you're ready. And find your natural rhythmic breathing. <clears throat> Ujjayi breath can be practiced at any point in the day. It's a really great way to gain energy in a day that you don't have an opportunity to rest. You can do it while running, walking, you know, laying down, sitting anytime. And as you gently blink the eyes open, let's bring the palms together and gaze down at the fingertips, setting the intention for yourself and your practice. As you breathe deeply, 
reminding yourself that your body is a dwelling. And with your yoga practice, you're making that dwelling more comfortable and happy. Smiling to that, cheers, namaste. Let's go ahead and inhale, arms high up above you. Exhale, a twist to the left. Draw the outside of that right hand. Outside the left knee, look tall behind you. Exhaling your twist a little deeper. We're ringing at the tension. And as you inhale, draw the hands high up. Exhale, twist other side. Tall oh, hips anchor, gazing far behind you. Let's go ahead and mount center on the next breath. Inhale. As you exhale, draw the left hand to the right knee. And the right hand reaches over to the left in a nice side bend here, revolved. Opening the gaze and the heart to the sky. Deep breaths. And then as you inhale, center, both arms reach high. Exhale, draw that right hand to the left knee, side stretch. Hips anchor, heart opening, shoulder blades pressed down far. Side bending here. Deep breaths. And let's go ahead and inhale, arms up. As you interlace the fingers, press the palms to the sky. And then we're going to exhale, hollow it out like a cat, seated. Ears in between the biceps. And then inhale, open the belly up and forward. Cow, exhale, three more times. Rounding your cat and then inhaling your cow forward. Really tilt the pelvis in, up forward, inhale up. Exhale, tailbone curls in. One more time, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, rounding. And as you grab those knees, let's draw circles for those hips. Anchored hips, deep range of motion as you breathe. My hips are cracking and whatnot. Ring out that tension <laughs> and shift laterally, low. Inhaling forward, exhale back. Just two more circles. Good work. Try to keep low and anchored with the lower body. Good. Let's flip it and reverse it as we do so. Breathe, draw the shoulders low to those knees and then forward. Good. Yay. Stay here. Find yourself a little looser every time, even though you might find that when I first did these circles, I hated them. I don't know why I hated them, but I did. But then you start to find that they're fun and you can build rhythm and find out what side of your body is a little bit more lubricated than the other in terms of your joints. So now we're going to take those hands and reach up as you exhale, palms forward. And then we're going to go ahead and take the hands into an interlace and ring it out with a wave. Deep breaths. Stretch out those wrists and forearms and then reverse the wave after one more. And see how that reverse wave goes. Is it really choppy or is it smooth? Are we using both arms? <laughs> Here we go. And press the arms forward, round it. As you inhale, let's take those hands back, reach the heart forward, arms reach back. And first, let's go ahead and just touch the ground behind you. <clears throat> Lift your heart, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring your chin over your left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, chin over the right shoulder. And then go ahead and reach arms up. And then as you exhale, let's go ahead and lean forward with those arms. Find a nice seated stretch here, outreaching those palms. Sink the armpits lower to the mat. And then go ahead and find yourself rolling onto the knees into tabletop. Make sure that your tabletop is level, making sure that those wrists are stacked under elbows, under shoulders, knees under hips, and back is flat. As you go ahead and inhale your cow, exhale cat, really round it out, exaggerate the curve and push the breath far, far out and inhale deeper. Shoulders low, strong arms and legs, exhale. 
ears in between the biceps, squeeze. One more time, inhale, tuck those toes. Exhale, flatten the feet, cat. And then we're gonna go ahead and tuck those toes into a down dog. March your feet, shake your hips side to side. And breathe into your stretch. Always looking behind you. Maybe you're looking in between your ankles or maybe challenging yourself to raise the gaze higher between the knees or towards the navel. Keep those heels reaching far. Deep breath. So as you inhale, let's find ourselves on the tippy toes and then exhale, tiptoe the way all to the feet and hug yourself. Inhale, lift halfway. And on the exhale, we're going to bend the right knee. Inhale, gently raise that left arm up to the sky in a twist, forward fold. Open the heart, deep breaths. Really try to send that left shoulder behind you, right shoulder forward, keeping a straight line, maybe a little outstretched because you feel it and it's good. And as you look down at that right finger, uh, set of fingers, let's go ahead and lower the left hand, hug yourself. Fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, gently bending left knee, right leg stays soft and straight. As you reach that right arm up, open the heart, gaze behind you, deep breaths. Breathe, hold the pose, not the breath. And then go ahead and hug yourself as you look first down on the left side on the floor. Forward fold, inhale, lift. Exhale, chair. Sit those hips into those heels. Arms raise up, look in between the thumbs, and go up all the way. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, your mountain. Nice and proud. Great opportunity for water. If you have sensitivities to your knees, um, you can go ahead and lie a blanket down. In this middle space where you'd be lunging your knee down, you can plant a blanket underneath it if you want. I have students that prefer that. It's up to you, but we're going to prepare for sun salutations. But our low lunges are going to be a little deep. <clears throat> so let's embrace it. Woo! As we inhale, arms high. Slight back bend. And then exhaling your way into a forward fold, hug yourself, yay. Inhale, lifting halfway. You can either press those hands on the shins or reach those fingertips down in front of the toes. Bend those knees, plant the hands and step that left leg back in the lunge. <clears throat> Lowering left knee to the ground, untie back foot. Sink the hips, <clears throat> gently send the weight to the back knee and the front heel as you raise arms gently above you, interlace the fingers, and have the index and uh, thumbs pointing up. Reach high, inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, try to lower the lunge so that the right sit bone gets a little closer to that right heel. And then we're gonna head into a nice planting the lunge. <laughs> so those hands come down. Lift that back leg, and now we're going to find a single-legged plank. From your single-legged plank, you can lower the left knee and then chaturanga, or to chaturanga. And then inhale up, dog. Exhale, down dog, tuck your toes. Breathe. Inhale, step that left leg forward. And lower that right knee, untuck the right foot, inhale, arms high, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, exhale, deepen the lunge, but keep everything tight towards the center of the mat. Open the heart, lift the ribs. As you inhale, play those hands down. As you exhale, tuck that right foot. And then as you bring the feet together, first gently straighten that left leg and then set the feet together, hug yourself. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, arms reach high for a nice chair. Sit those hips back and inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold, hug yourself. Inhale to lift halfway. 
Exhale, send that right leg back in your lunge. <clears throat> Lower the <clears throat> back foot, inhale, arms high. Sink hips, squeeze everything tight towards the midline. <sighs> inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen your stretch. And then begin to inhale, plant the hands. <clears throat> Exhale, tuck the right foot. Reach back with that left leg. Either lower the right knee or come all the way into your chaturanga. Chaturanga, those elbows find a right degree elbow, uh, right degree angle. <laughs> inhale, left dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, finding that left, I'm sorry, right leg in the sky. Exhale, lunge it. <clears throat> lower right knee. I'm sorry, lower left knee. Inhale, arms up. I'm hearing, you know, I uh, didn't write my letters on my feet. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, sink the hips. Make sure that left hip turns in towards the right and the right knee towards, turns in towards the left. Arrow at the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, tuck that back foot. <clears throat> and as you straighten the right leg, set the feet together, hug yourself. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, chair. Inhale, arms up. Back bend. Exhale, swan dog, hug yourself. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left leg back, lunge. And lower we go with those hips. Maybe you increase the distance between that front heel and the back knee. Open and lift. Maybe gaze at the thumbs in the sky. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, tuck that back. Left foot, single leg chaturanga. Right leg lifted, lower. And then inhale, your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Three legged dog. Exhale, lunge it through, lower right knee. Into our right foot, inhale, arms up. Very good. Sink. Inhale. Exhale. Plant the hands. Inhale, straightening left leg, set the feet together, hug yourself. We're going to do that one more time, a little faster on the other side. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, chair. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward, swan down. Yay! Hug yourself, smile. Don't forget to smile. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step that right leg back, lunge, lower the knee, and then arms high. You got it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, give me your best low lunge yet. Inhale. Play with those hands, exhale, single leg chaturanga, and then lower down, inhale up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the right leg forward into a lunge, lower right left knee, inhale arms up. And then we're gonna exhale, lunge. Step fold as you hug yourself. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, soften. Inhale, raise arms to chair. Sit back, inhaling arms back up. Exhale, mountain. Wonderful job so far. Let's grab some water. <laughs> All right, a little bit more into balance next. Let's go ahead and find ourselves preparing. Inhaling arms to sky at the top of your mat. Exhale, chair. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, we're going to step that right leg back, lunge. Inhale, arms up. Very good. Deep breaths. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, turn to the left side. 
deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. As you inhale, arms out <clears throat> to a nice twisted warrior <clears throat> with the heel lifted. We're gonna inhale and then exhale, taking the lower right hand down into a nice lunge here, twisted. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open the heart a little bit more. Ooh, some balance. Very good. And then from here, <clears throat> we're going to plant the hands down, lie the right heel down. And as we take that left hand to the left thigh, let's go ahead and find side angle lunge. Deep breaths. From side angle lunge, let's find warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Whether you want to take that right hand to the calf or the top of the opposite thigh, we're going to prepare to lengthen back to warrior two. Exhale, a prayer. Inhale, lengthen. And see if you can draw that right elbow outside that knee. Deep breaths. Stay low with those hips. And then we're going to step the feet together. Find your prayer into a chair. Good work. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step the left leg back into your lunge. Inhale, high lunge, arms up. Deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, prayer. And then begin to twist to the right side here. Breathe. Close twist. Inhale your arms out to a straight line. Try to keep the pelvis underneath you. Engaging everything, straight line with the arms. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, gently lower that left hand to the ground. Shoulders low. Open the heart to the sky. Deep breaths. Confidence in the heart. Opening. Proud. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go ahead and take hands to frame that front lunged foot and lower that left leg down. So the heel meets the mat. And gently draw that right arm on top of that right thigh, side angle lunge. Inhale, stick the hips. Exhale, find warrior two. Deep breaths, heels in line. Inhale. Exhale, reverse your order. Breathe. And then let's go ahead and prepare to find back to warrior two. <clears throat> prayer. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, revolved prayer lunge. Sink your hips. Don't fall. Heels rooted, all ten toes rooted. Hips low. Gaze high. Straight line with the forearms. And palms trying to meet in front of the heart. Inhale, find your chair, keep the prayer. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, mountain. Great work. Take a deep breath. You're doing amazing. Recenter. We are going to do one more standing flow and then come back down to the mat for the rest of the class. So recenter, inhale, arms up. And then exhale to mountain, spacious mountain with lots of waterfalls and springs at the bottom. <laughs> Deep breaths. The breath is a direct reflection of the state of the body the breath and the body mirror each other. And as soon as you start to focus on your breath, it slows down. So if you 
can slow the breath, you can slow the state of the body into calm. So recentering here, deep inhale. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, sit back with those heels, arms raised, and we find a chair. This time we're gonna bring it into a prayer. And we're going to turn our bodies so that the uh, prayer is towards the left. And we're not going to use the elbow against the leg this time. We're just going to use the core. <sighs> Deep breaths. Really shift the hips so that they're low, but you're engaging the core to turn so to the left and then go ahead and find those right toes. And see if you can even get the knee inside the elbow of the right. Deep breaths. If you can raise that foot. Still twisting here with the core. Send right leg back. As you send it back, we're gently going to lower just the right hand. And as you raise left hand, we have a revolved half moon. I'm going to see back because I feel like I'm coming out of the frame. <laughs> Keep that back leg lifted. Make it work. Open the heart. Deep breaths. Good work here. You got this. And then we're going to go ahead and find ourselves reaching through. And then grabbing the outside of the right leg with the left hand and kicking into the hand gently, raising right arm into a revolved hand to foot. Deep breaths. From here, breathing, don't forget to breathe. Keep your heart open. We're gonna find prayer into warrior three. I believe in you. You just gotta make sure you believe in yourself. It's okay to struggle with that balance. And from warrior three, we're gonna find a standing split. Lower the hands. You have a little triangle, three points for balance. That foot is in the center and the hands level you. Bending the left knee gets the right foot higher. From here, step the feet together and hug yourself. Good work. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, sit into the heels. Draw those hips back, down low. Lift the arms, find your chair. Inhale, prayer. Exhale, revolve the heart to the right. Woo! That's a really good workout. Woo! Come on to those left toes. Maybe draw that elbow and armpit together. Still turning to the right. The core is here working, not, in, not, not surrendering itself to that leg. Lift up that left leg and send it back. Float here and gently lower left hand. Open right arm. Revolved half moon. Deep breaths. You've got this. I'm gonna make sure we're still in the frame. Make sure that left hand is under the left shoulder. Work that back foot. Gazing high. We're gonna inhale, lift, and extend left leg through. Right hand grabs outside. Left foot, reach left arm back, revolved hand to foot. Deep breaths. Smile, balanced, strong. And let's go ahead and prepare for worry three. As you find your prayer, parallel to the floor with those hips and shoulders level. We're gonna lower down, lift that back foot. Standing split. Bending right knee, just lift it higher. Try to keep the neck long. Deep breaths. Every day, 
I promise consistency will get you into a nice, good uh, degree of your standing split. My first one, I swear, looked like this. And then slowly and slowly, practice is perfect. All right, let's go ahead and lower those feet. Hug yourself. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, soften. And then from here, we're gonna plant those hands, step the feet back and find a nice down facing dog. Pedal out the feet. We're gonna inhale, taking the left leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Start the hips, bend the knee, and then come onto the fingertips of that left hand and see if you want to flip the dog very gently, shifting the weight to plant that left foot on the ground. Squeeze those gluteus to come up. Pelvis is high. And then go ahead and find your down facing dog. And then we're gonna inhale, gently do that on the other side as you find your three-legged dog with that right leg. Stack the hips, bend the knee. See if you're ready to shift onto the fingertips of that right hand. Lift off of the heel onto just the toes of that left foot. See if you want to flip your dog. Be very gentle as you do so. Deep breaths. Hold the pose, not the breath. Press away from the earth. And then we're gonna gently gaze down. Flip the down dog back. As you lower onto the knees, let's come off, to the, off of the heels, onto the toes, lower the knees. And as you bring your big toes together, knees wide, child's pose. Breathe here. And then go ahead. And while keeping your hips, knees, and feet all low and anchored to the earth, we're gonna walk our palms off to the left side of your mat. A nice side bend here. Heart, head, hips low. And then switch, walk those hands on your side. Very good. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and bring your feet together, knees together, come up onto those knees. And then we're going to gently make sure that you can reach back for those heels. So we're gonna sit back. And from here, we're gonna prepare for rabbit pose which means we're gonna take the top of our head down to the earth. So the very top. So if you were standing up, you could balance a plate on this part of your head. Taking there, we're going to hold your heels firm because as you press your hips off the ground, you're gonna stretch your spine, press into the head and grab those heels, kick into those hands, into your rabbit pose, really round the space. Opening in between the shoulders. Two breaths here, squeezing higher. One more inhale. And gently lower. As you lower, find your child's pose with your knees and feet together. Breathe. And then from here, we're going to walk our palms towards us and make sure we have plenty of space behind us. So with the, with the ankles being stretched, the top of the feet are down and we're six, seated on our feet. We're gonna plant our hands as we lean back behind us. I prefer to have my hands pointing forward. Um, it's up to you. Um, I, I, everyone's anatomy is totally different, so do what's comfortable for you. But whatever you do, make sure you can lift your heart 
and your hands are exactly underneath your shoulders. From there, we're going to do a modified camel's pose as you press into the legs, the top of the legs that are touching the ground, squeeze up, deep breath. Modified camel, breathe, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes, and then slowly sit down. As you come up, we're going to take a deep breath, and then we're going to lift up onto those knees so that we have ourselves extended as you reach the arms high. We're going to take our hand on the left down so that the fingertips touch the earth. Find a side stretch here. Very good. And then lift up, use your core. <laughs> Switch side bend. Very good. And then we're going to gently lower ourselves, cross the ankles and extend the legs forward. <laughs> And then from here, we're going to take a moment and plant that left foot, keeping the glutes on the ground. We're going to inhale, the arms reach up, and as we exhale, we're going to reach for the right leg, keeping that left foot planted. If that's easy, you can even progress. Um, if you can't reach the foot, you can grab the calf or the leg and work yourself up. And then if that's comfortable, you can also See if you can bind behind you. Deep breaths. If you bind, try to keep your heart open and look behind you. As you release, take a deep breath and on the exhale is when you're gonna release, inhale, placing that left hand, exhale the right tricep outside that left knee, or twist here. And then slowly, we're going to plant the outside of that left leg. So we have a half butterfly. That left foot is on the inside of the right thigh. As we inhale, arms up. We're gonna exhale and fold forward so that you cover <clears throat> that foot with the shadow of your belly. Deep breaths. Maybe you can open out that right leg a little bit more. Keep those glutes down on your mat. And then from here, we're going to walk the palms towards the leg. And then keeping that right arm planted, we're going to rotate left arm up, finding a revolved head to knee. Good work. Breathe. And then slowly come up. And then find a butterfly. I like to keep my butterfly um, really stretchy so I bring my feet closer to me and try to keep my knees low to the earth. Deep breaths. Maybe you can walk your arms forward for just a moment. And as you slowly come up we're going to extend the left leg keeping that right foot planted. As you inhale arms up, exhale reach for the left foot flexing. Woo! This side feels it more. Deep breaths. And we hug your uh, body so that it lowers the leg bone. And then if you want to do the bind, you can take the tricep in front of that right shin and reach the arms behind you, looking up and then behind. Really press into the right leg to gaze up higher. Don't forget to actively keep that left foot flexed. If you can't find, you can even just open up the arms. On another breath, let's inhale, lengthen. Exhale, depth in your stretch, and then releasing. Center, inhale, arms up. Exhale, take the um, left tricep outside of the right knee. Look behind you, and final twist. Yay! And then recenter. Plant the outside of that right leg down. I want to open up my left leg a little bit. Inhaling the arms to sky. Exhale, hinge the belly down to the floor. Yeah, this side feels it more. <laughs> Breathe into your stretch. Try to keep both glute muscles on the mat. Try 
Try to send uh, your breaths to anywhere there's tension, any, any kind of uh, lights on your dashboard. <laughs> Listen to them, look at them. They don't fix themselves <laughs> if they're beeping. And then we're gonna walk our hands towards that right, I'm sorry, the left side and then revolve so that left elbow is inside the left leg and pressing to pivot, revolving the head to the knee. Breathe. And then from here, one more breath. As you find your butterfly, Next, let's go ahead and prepare to lie down with plenty of space behind you. Sit <sighs> those feet down and slowly roll your way to the mat. Make sure you have a neutral spine, you have that lower back curve. And then we're gonna go ahead and lift those feet up. And then we're gonna cross the left knee on top of the right knee. Grab the outside of the feet in a reclined cow face. And the closer you draw those heels to the hips, the deeper the stretch. Breathe. If you want to even challenge yourself, you can keep the heels there and extend the knees away. Deep breaths, that's a little bit more intense. And as you find yourself back center, we're going to keep a hold of that left leg on top and just plant the right foot. Yay. Now we're going to thread the left arm through, finding a reclined pigeon. Close the space between that right knee and the right shoulder. And then on another breath, let's inhale. Exhale, tighten that knot. <laughs> and gently release, extending both legs up in the sky before finding a floating tabletop and then crossing the right on top of the left this time. Ooh, deep breaths. Maybe find whatever variation is comfortable for you. Ooh. Breathe. And as you take a deep inhale, exhale, letting go of any emotional trauma on those hips. And then gently recenter. We're going to plant just that left foot and then thread the right arm through the space of the legs and releasing the fingers and trying to close the space between the left knee and left shoulder and your threaded leg. Very good. And then from here, we're going to gently lower those feet down to a reclined butterfly. I'll warn you though that if you want to make it more intense, um, first off, we have to have the foundation so that the chin is tucked towards the heart, the back of the neck is long, the shoulder blades are flat to the mat, palms open up. From there, you can decide if you want to keep the reclined butterfly or kick out the legs to regular savasana, regular corpse pose. Or if you want to challenge your butterfly, you can even keep the feet bound together and just scoot the heels farther away. What? Yeah, <laughs> that's different. It's a little bit more intense, but deep breaths. For those of us who want to stay in Savasana, you're more than welcome to because this is virtual and you can just uh, let it turn off. Um, I recommend staying in Savasana at least 10 minutes um, if I have the option. <laughs> but for time's sake and for class, um, they want us to pack as much movement in as possible. But I always like to share that. <laughs> and so anyways, let's go ahead. And for those of us who are ready to close your practice, let's roll onto your right side. Curl your arms underneath you like a pillow. And gently use the left hand to press yourself up into a comfortable seated position on the mat. And as you take a deep breath, maybe constrict the throat. Inhale, Ujjayi. Exhale from the open mouth.
So <laughs> I'm so sorry to disrupt the piece. Anyways, I thank you all so much for joining me. Again, my name is Noreen, your certified fitness professional that has brought you a yoga class, which thank you for allowing me to share uh, this class with you and you sharing your practice with me. We take our hands from our heart center to our third eye, we bow, namaste. Namaste, everybody. Have a wonderful day.